Hey guys, Elias is here. A couple of days ago, AWS released SAM Accelerate. This is something I have been waiting for for nearly a year now, since I was actually made aware that the SAM service team was working on it. And I've been hyping it, I've been talking to customers about it. Why? Because I believe it's something that will completely change the way we write, we debug, we test, and we deploy code. So what is SAM Accelerate and why it is this important? And do you want to see a quick demo of what it's capable of? Stick around, that's what this video is about. Every app building follows the same process. Gathering requirements, designing prototypes, writing code, testing implementation and integration, right? So we typically have a local environment, a QA environment, and then production. The typical scenario goes as follows. We write and debug our code locally, and when it's ready to be tested, we push it to a QA environment. Then when it's fit for production, well, we deploy it to production environment, right? But that's not fair because there's always a big mismatch between your local environment, your machine where you write and debug your code, and production environment where your code is supposed to run forever. It's not the same specs, it's not the same machine, so there's always been this big, big, big mismatch between both. And yes, you can try to mimic production locally as much as possible, but can you really have a full-fledged AWS ecosystem with its 200 plus services running on your machine? Okay, there is some Docker-based solutions like a local stack, right, that allows you to mock services locally. But there are so many services that you can't realistically mock all of them. So what ends up happening is you will write your code, let's say a Lambda function locally, right? Then you'll push it through a pipeline using Jenkins or whatever CI tool that you use. And then you wait three, four, five minutes while Jenkins jobs install the dependencies, packages the code, push it to an S3 bucket, and another job maybe it extracts it from S3, deploys it, then you'll have to find the URL to invoke the function in order to test, you know, a, a lot of time just to realize you forgot a semicolon somewhere um, and you have to do it all again. Now, Sam Accelerate is here to change all of that. But first of all, let me tell you what SAM is, should you not be familiar with it. SAM stands for Serverless Application Model. It is an open source framework for building serverless applications, like, you know, with Lambda functions in the center. You might be using something else like serverless framework to create Lambda functions already. And SAM, uh, known by this cute little mascot, named SAM uh, is very similar in a way that it provides shorthand syntax to express think functions, APIs, databases, and event source mapping, right? So it's built on top of CloudFormation. So rather than writing hundreds of lines of CloudFormation code to define your resources with SAM, you'll be using, you know, just a few lines per resource. And I'll show you in the demo. And then SAM transforms and expands the SAM syntax into AWS CloudFormation syntax during deployment, enabling you to build serverless applications faster. Okay, now that we've familiarized ourselves with the terms, let's jump back to our main agenda, SAM Accelerate. The official blog post declares that SAM Accelerate is a new capability of SAM CLI that makes it faster and easier for developers to test code changes made locally to their serverless applications against a cloud-based environment, reducing the time from local iteration to production readiness. In simpler terms, rather than writing locally, then manually deploying to the cloud and testing there, you will keep writing code locally, but Sam will be watching and will be automatically synchronizing not only your code, but your infrastructure and your API definitions as well to your cloud environment, in the background, in near real time. Code changes can be updated in seconds in AWS Lambda. API definition changes in Amazon API Gateway, state machine updates to AWS step functions, and infrastructure changes are deployed also via infrastructure as code tooling such as CloudFormation. Personally, 
I believe we're all going to be ditching our local machines in the near future anyway, in favor of developing, debugging, and testing directly on the cloud. I personally don't even have a laptop anymore. I just use my iPad Air along with this keyboard case from Fintai whenever I need to do some work on the go like monitor server's health, uh, SSH into EC2 instances. Uh, I write Lambda functions directly on AWS console or through an online IDE like Cloud9 or VS Code. And the pay-as-you-go model of the cloud makes it easy to play with whatever resources you need and only pay for it when you actually start routing real traffic through it. Remember that Lambda gives you, for example, 1 million free invocations every month, more than enough to develop and test. And Lambda is not the only one, right? A lot of serverless services follow the same route. SQS, for example, offers the first 1 million requests for free every month as well. Now, I promised you a demo of how some Accelerate works in the real world. So let's get to that. I'll start by running SAM init, which is the CLI that allows us to initialize a new SAM application. And for the sake of this video, I will be using this AWS SAM Accelerate demo from AWS Samples repos. So I will just copy the link to the repo, paste it when SAM asks me for the template location, and now SAM initializes a new folder in my computer using that code. I'm just going to open it in an IDE and quickly go through the template that YAML with you guys. So the first thing you'll notice is that this is really familiar to what a CloudFormation template looks like. And that's pretty much what SAM is, right? SAM is, is built on top of CloudFormation. And so it, it's like an abstraction layer on top of CloudFormation. It's just rather than writing 50 lines of code to define a DynamoDB table, with SAM you'll do it with one line. So you'll see here that the first thing we define is what we call a base API, which is an API get gateway that is regional. We give it a stage name, prod, and that's pretty much it. The second thing that we have is a first Lambda function. So we define a Lambda function. We define where the code of the Lambda function will be. We define the handler, which is the method within the app file, the runtime, it's Python, you know, the architecture and the events. And here you see that we're pretty much telling Sam that we want our Lambda function to be invoked when a call comes through the API with the parameter slash hello, right? So we're adding, I'm gonna allow myself to say it, a REST API. And when the root hello with the method get is called, so automatically we'll invoke our Lambda function. And you see that we just added an event to the Lambda function definition. And Sam will take care of linking, creating the roles, creating the permissions, creating everything that is required. The second thing is, you know, a second Lambda function that's in greetings. And it's pretty much similar to the first Lambda function that we've seen. There's the path, there's the method, and we link it to a REST API. And then we have an output. So when this is deployed, this, the output is going to be two URLs to our uh, API gateway endpoints that we created. Now, the first thing that you will notice after initializing our project is that we will be calling a command called SAM sync. This is part of the new SAM Accelerate feature. And what we'll do is it will synchronize uh, our project declared in AWS SAM template, the one we just went through, to the AWS Cloud. I want to show you the results of this command. So I have here my CloudFormation console open, and you see right away that there is a stack being created in progress. So it will go through creating not only the uh, resources that we defined, you know, the API gateway and the Lambda functions, but also all the necessary S3 buckets, all the necessary um, uh, roles to execute the Lambda functions, all the necessary permissions, all of that will be created automatically just because we are using SAM. And now that SAM finished creating the necessary um, resources, it's asking us whether we really want to use the sync feature. And I just answered yes. And now we'll see that SAM has actually started creating the blog stack uh, that we asked them to do. So you see here that after finishing the deployment, Sam is watching, it's just waiting in the background. So let me show you how this works. This is the output of what we created of the template. It's a URL to our endpoints on API Gateway. I'm just going to open it on a new browser, on a new tab since it's a get. And you see we have the answer, the response, hello world, how are you? 
which is what we asked our Lambda function to answer. Now I'm going to do a quick change here and then I'm going to save. Just hit Command S and you see that right away Sam is building my application and deploying it. That's it. That took a couple of seconds. Now I reload the page and you see the other response. Hello world, I am fine and you. Now let's do it again. Add a couple of other changes. Save. And you see that building starts and finished. And now my new code is deployed. That's it. It actually takes the same time it would take you from running your, from writing locally, hitting command save, and you switch into your browser in local and reloading the page. It's a couple of seconds. But now you have the advantage of seeing the code directly running on a cloud environment. You're not mocking anything. You're actually using real services as AWS wants you to use. So that was code. Now, what if I decide to change configuration? What if I decide to change the API gateway that I created? And I'm going to change the name of one of the stages. So instead of calling it prod, I'm just going to call it production east. I'm going to hit save. And you see that right away, Sam starts initializing the deployment and it will automatically synchronize the environment in the cloud. It will rewrite the API gateway. It will do whatever it needs to do, uh, you know, create whatever new stacks, cloud formation stacks it needs to create and it will update my API gateway. All I had to do is write code, save. You know, it's really as if I am writing code directly on the cloud and testing directly on the cloud. But wait, that's not everything. Another great new feature of Sam Accelerate is aggregating logs for developers' feedback. And this is actually an enhancement to the already existing Sam Logs command. So in addition to pulling Amazon CloudWatch logs or uh, the logs for the Lambda function, right now this command retrieve logs for API gateway and traces from AWS X-Ray as well. So I'm keeping the sync watch to the left and then I'm creating a new tab where I'm going to be watching my logs in real time. And there you have it. I'm going to call my endpoint again and you'll see that in near real time, I am getting the logs. I am getting an HTTP 200 code. I'm getting the time it took the Lambda to execute. And now I can have it, if I have two monitors, right? I can have my code in once. I'm looking at my logs at the same time. I have my exam sync, you know, watching everything that I do. And then on the other monitor, I'm having my application open. So as I write code, I can see exactly the output of the logs, right? Here I can see the amount of memory. I can see that there's no errors, uh, there's no faults. I can see the time it took for the response to have a response and all this is in real time and I'm actually writing code and code is being deployed on the cloud and it's being executed in, in the cloud and you can see how excited I am just talking about this because this takes the experience of creating applications to a whole new level and this is just the beginning. As a developer deploying applications on the cloud, you want to get to the cloud as soon as possible and now with some Accelerate, well, you are able to escape from emulating the cloud locally, you know, I, and you can move right away to the fidelity of testing directly in the cloud. I'm super interested to get your views on this new feature. So let me know in the comments what do you think. And that's pretty much it for this episode. A quick reminder to give the video a like if you find it beneficial. Links and useful information will be added in the YouTube description, so make sure to check that out. And I'll be answering all your questions around SAM and SAM Accelerate, so feel free to ask in the comment sections below. Until next time, peace out.